Kazamo is a handy little utility available from nostatic.com that provides XAML pad style functionality. Uh, that is, you can uh, load a XAML file, uh, edit it, and view the changes uh, while you're editing it. So, unfortunately, by default, if you load, say, uh, one of the example XAML files that comes with the MacView XAML module functionality, uh, you get a uh, a parsing error because Kazaml doesn't know about the, the Mac review specific code. Now this short video is, gives you gives you a, a workaround for uh, alleviating that. Alleviating that, it's possible because Kazaml has a plugin architecture and a plugin subdirectory where if you stick DL, DLLs, it will load it. So let's just put some MacView specific DLLs into that plugin directory to resolve our problem. First, find the MacView XAML module directory. Uh, grab the DLLs and the metaxaml.exe. The metaxaml.exe is where the uh, XAML action occurs, so we need that particular file in addition to any of the other DLLs. We'll go to the Kazaml plugins directory and just paste in the files. Now one trick to it is we'll need to rename the XC to a DLL since Kazaml, uh, given the version I've played around with, uh, will load DLLs but won't load XCs as plugins. So now if we run Kazaml again and attempt to load the same file we did a second ago, which one was it? Expanding textual updates. It. It loaded it. Detected that um, the XAML file required a, a server connection. Let's log in. And um, it's now updating based on the XAML that's defined in the file. In this particular XAML file, it um, just writes the time and increases the size over a period from zero up to a, a maximum and once it gets past uh, I think it's the 30 second limit the uh, the graphic goes red as per this script here let's give it a few seconds so now um, this allows uh, you to play around with XAML and uh, bind it to MacView data within uh, a nice modification and view environment.